Okay, this, this video is how to write a basic formula for an ionic compound. The first thing that you're going to want to do is have your ion table, and it's in the first couple pages of your uh, notebook papers that you got for class. So you're, gonna, you're going to want to have that out. Notice that there's the cation side, where these are all the positively charged ions. The, they will always be the first thing in the formula, and then the negative ions those will always be the second thing in the, in the formula. So anyway, the first one that we want to write is for calcium chloride. Okay, the first thing is always the positive or the cation. The second thing will always be the negative ion. So what you have to do is you have to look up on this chart and find like calcium, let's say, the first one, and find the charge and the symbol for it. And so the first one is calcium chloride. And then so you'd look up the positive one, write that down, look up the negative one, write that down, and then complete the formula. So let me, let me show you how to do that. So if you could have your ion chart sitting beside you, that would be great. Then you can uh, figure out how this works. So if you look up calcium, you would see that calcium is plus 2, or 2 plus. So we're going to write calcium 2 plus. Then we're going to look up chloride and we're going to look up Cl and it's 1 minus. Now we're going to use these charges to help us get the right ratio of atoms in a formula. So anyway, the positive charges have to cancel out the negative. And the easiest way to get that to happen is just to crisscross the numbers. Don't bring the positive or negative with it, just, just the numbers. So you'll need one calcium. See, I brought the one here. I'm crisscrossing it and two chlorides. So Anyway, because you do that because by crisscrossing them, you get this. One, two positive ion will cancel out two, one negative ion, ions. And then uh, you should rewrite it. And when you rewrite it, anything that's a one, you can just omit the one because if it's written down, we assume it's one unless there's a number by it. So we re rewrite it without the charges and we get CaCl2. Okay, so get your ion chart off to the side and kind of follow along here. Okay, so I look up lithium, and it's in the one positive cation. And oxide is O, and it's two negative. Now, if the charges are not the same, you crisscross them. So I'm going to put a two there and a one there. And so then I get Li2O. Okay, calcium oxide. Calcium, again, was, is 2 plus. Oxide is 2 negative. Now, this one's a little different, so pay attention here. Now, if the charges are not different or opposite but equal, okay, well, if they are opposite but equal, you don't do anything, okay, uh, except rewrite it how it is because one of these will cancel out one of these. So if the charges are opposite but equal, you don't want to do the crisscross because one of these will already cancel out one of these. So the ratio is CaO. Uh, because if you crisscross it, you would get Ca2O2. But all ionic compounds, they have to be written in the simplest, the simplest whole number ratio. Okay. Okay, barium sulfide. Barium is Ba, it's on the left side of the chart, and it's 2 positive. Sulfide is on the right side of the chart, it's an anion, it's 2 negative. See how the charges are opposite but equal? That means do not, don't crisscross them, that means you just need one of each. So that formula would be BAS. Okay, magnesium nitride. Magnesium is 2 positive. Nitride is 3 negative. Okay, now if the charges are not opposite and equal, you, but equal, you crisscross them. So you put a 3 here and a 2 here. Notice I brought the 3 over and the 2 over this way. Okay, then you want to rewrite it without the charges. Mg3 and 2. Aluminum oxide. Aluminum is 3 positive. Oxygen is 2 negative. Okay, they're not opposite but equal, so you crisscross a 2 there and a 3 there, 
and you end up getting Al2O3. Now notice by crisscrossing, three positive twos will give you a total of, of six positives. We'll cancel out two times a negative three, which will give you six negatives. So by crisscrossing, you're just evening up the charges. Okay, tin four oxide is kind of a tricky one. So you go tin four and it's four positive. Oxide is two negative. Now you can crisscross these two and a four, but remember what I said last time is that these have to be written in the simplest ratio. And two to four is not the simplest ratio. Two to four can be reduced to one to two. Okay, it's just a simpler ratio. So then you write it in the simplest whole number ratio, SNO2. Notice I didn't write the one there. Okay, you omit the ones. Okay, zinc fluoride. Zinc is two plus. Fluoride is one negative. And so you crisscross, and then you would rewrite ZNF2. Okay, that's it for the basic formula writing.